Welcome again to the world. Welcome again, all my people. Pleasant Zoom. Pleasant 2022. And we are back again on our journey, our sharing, our ideas journey. So, pleasant going to all my people. Welcome again. Um, this is my handmade tool that I have made. Tool, bent, leather chair. So, I'm just sharing it with you the how many use of it. This tool here of this bench here. And as you see, it built on a rake. That is what I'm doing. And it won't turn over. So as you see, you can climb on it. Take down stuff from places. Look, actually, two persons can be climbing on it one time. Um, I can be on this side and you over that side. And we are doing something. Yeah. And three persons. Three persons can be climbing on it. That's one. One at the front here and two at the two sides. And as you see, it's a bench, tool, chair, everything. This thing can be used in a bar, a pub, inside of a kitchen. It can be placed in your kitchen around the counter. It can be used in our store as well because you could have it in the store for use to take down stuff or put down stuff. So, this thing is very useful to me and you if you get yourself one or have me get one get you one so this is it very useful today you actually you can even take it in the car as well so my next thing that i want to share now is we are going to polish this tool here these are all the supplies this is martina this is the color that I have mixed already and this is my brush and my little thing okay now I'm gonna share with you how you could finish your furniture whether this tool or anything else by just brush polishing it so I'm doing I already finished sand it already but just before brushing it Try and get out all the dust from it. Okay, all right. Now this is the reservoir. I'm gonna pretend in it just as if I'm gonna spray this thing. So I will pretend like this is the spray gun anyway. Okay. Now I just tip a liquor of my locker in this. This is my thinner. This brush we're not using for a few days or a little while, so actually it got hard up. So what you do now you put it in this. You put it in this for a little second. You see what I'm doing? Um, I could just leave it in there and find something else to do in the meantime, but maybe I could work it like this. I'm working it, and it is getting it is getting useful now to me. Yeah. Leave a like on this video because here's I know this tool should be likeful or loveful or useful to anyone because it's a very useful tool chair bench. Yeah. And I'm gonna do this complete to all to this tool here because I said this is my first stage of the spray 
or the polishing to this tool here. While you're doing it, there's experience you know, so you'll follow. I can feel that the material is a bit thin, so so what I do, I add a little bit more to it because this is my first stage on this tool here right now. This is the first stage on it. goes on to if I want to complete this tool here without never spraying it with a spray gun this is what we're gonna do I oh this is what I can do I can all uh, use my brush and polish it to the end and it got that finishing just as if it were spray or it were finished by a spray gun Most people do this at first, just as this what you see I'm doing. There's lots of people just before they they start the full spraying with the spray gun, they do this. You can do this. This is a this this is a professional work as well. You could use your brush and brush polish on the sealer to the, the the surface of that furniture before because remember one one of our finishing we put on the sealer we brush on the sealer or spray it on and then let it dry for a while then slightly rub it off so Actually, the first stage of spraying to a furniture, you could do this. Yes, because the first stage of spraying a furniture is putting on the sealer. And when you put on that sealer and you allow it to dry for a while, then you're going to rub it off. So because of that, you could do this. You could brush on the sealer at first or the, the varnish, anything. If you're even not going to seal and you're just going to varnish straight ahead, you could do this. But right now, most people, the first stage of going to spray a furniture, they start to spray on sealer, the wood sealer, 
But right now, I'm not using the wood sealer. This is locker. This is locker that gives the sheen. Actually, that is what most people use for the last finishing. The last spray under the job. Locker, because locker is what brings the sheen, the finishing, the, the shine. You know what it name? Locker. Actually, it, it, it is it lock on the color. Lock on all spray that you put on the job. Is it, that is why it go on the top. It is the last spray, the last finish. Uh, it lock on what you put on. But you can use it at the first as well, like what I'm doing right now. So what I'm doing, I'm using the locker at first. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can use locker at first. And put on your first stage of spraying. So see what I'm doing now, and I'm going to leave this until tomorrow. Because at this time of the evening now, it's not good for me to completely finish these two stools now. So what I'm doing now, I'm doing this, and then leave this to dry properly till tomorrow. As you can see, this one here. This is what I do as well. This one will brush as well. As you can see. Yeah, it will brush as well. So. This is why I want you to. why you must always remember to subscribe because on the finishing of these two stools I would I would really want you to see them I would be very happy to share them with you the finishing of them so just before you leave this video just leave a like on it or subscribe Never you doing this without wear a protective mask. I should be having mine as well now. But because mine just leave right around the corner right there. But I don't want to leave this video right now to go and get it. So I really want to just do this video real quickly for you to see how you could polish your tool, your bench, your chair, or anything. All you do, as you see, this is my locker I buy at the, the, the store. I get this. This is the retail amount I get. And, and as you see, I pour a little locker in this and then add a little thinner to it and keep it not too thick like a mile as you see and this is it now, what I want to show you as you see what we're doing now actually actually we are actually complete brushing this 
and what I want one of the things I want to show you if you were gonna spray this thing with your spray gun how much you think you would mix in the spray gun to spray this for you to spray this with your spray gun you did have to mix at least half of the spray gun that the gun can get to do properly work for you to spray this and see what we do actually this container here I just mix this thing actually about right here and see it actually do this and leave as you see just this little bit that I use see what it do so that is one of this idea I want to share with you if you don't have sufficient material to hook up the spray gun and spray the thing then you could do this if you can do this professionally very neatly then you can do this once you have that patience to just try to do this the best you can then you could do it look at look at our stool yeah just look at the stool we're going we're going yeah so this is why friends just remember to subscribe because and the finishing the last very finishing of this tool I would like for you to see them these two were made from cedar and guango this top here this this board here this is a guango as you can see it's two different boards guango this piece here is cedar these two at the back are oak 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 yeah oak lumber yeah for those of you who know it as timber Oak timber, oak lumber, oak board, oak wood, whatever you know it as a, you can call it.